Hey everybody, this is Debbie with Nana, Feeding the Heart, Spirit, and the Tummy, um, with the cameraman, Mr. Jim. Hey. Say hello to everybody. Hey. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're excited today to try something new that we've never done. We've watched it before. We hear other people talking about making squash spaghetti. Hmm. Yes. So, I have a friend that had a garden. She dropped me off a couple squashes, and I thought, Let's try it oh, yeah. and see if we like it. Never know until you try something, right? I always say try it first, then if you don't like it, you want to fix it again. So we're going to start off with two squashes. They're fairly small, so we're doing all two of them, and we cut them in half already. Look like that. Mm -hmm. and now they look like this. <laughs> <laughs> and so we've already, or should I say, Jim, help me, already scraped out those big old seeds. Yeah, they were full of them. And they were full of <laughs> seeds. So that's your first couple steps. Okay, then it says to sprinkle lightly olive oil. So let's sprinkle lightly olive oil. I don't know what lightly is. I guess this is lightly. Yeah, looks lightly to me. <laughs> All right, okay, that's lightly. A little bit down here at the bottom, lightly. Okay, <laughs> then salt and pepper. <laughs> I can do that. So salt. And this, of course, is the, the pink salt. <laughs> Yay. And pepper. Don't over pepper it. Okay. Then we flip. So flip over face down on your sheet. Ah. Okay. Then take your fork, punch some holes in it. I guess to give it some air. Yeah, I'm sure that'll help it to break through cook, maybe. Cook or, through better, yeah, I'd probably. imagine. That was a They're tough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you lift your weights that morning and eat your cereal and your vitamins. <laughs> <laughs> okay. On to go. You almost got him. We got this. I hope we like this. Now my hands are a little slippery, I guess, from the olive oil. Probably didn't help any. <laughs> All right, so I've got my oven preheated to 400 degrees. And when that kicks on to 400, we'll place these in the oven. It says for like 30 to 40 minutes. Um, I've read some people said they did an hour. It was too long. Some people was al dente at 30 to 40. So just check it to see why you like it. So we're also going to attempt, once this is done, we're going to make some shrimp marinara. Oh, yeah. Go with it. Hey, might as well, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll try it. So we'll be back when this kicks on 400. We're going to bake it for 30 minutes, and then we'll start working on the marinara sauce here shortly. Thanks. Hey, everyone. Um, this is Debbie and Jim. We're back now getting ready to try to make some homemade marinara sauce for our squash spaghetti recipe. So I'm going to start out real fast here with two tablespoons of olive oil over medium heat. Now you can eyeball it or you can measure it. I'm choosing to measure today. <laughs> <laughs> if you feel brave, just eyeball it. It's no problem. Now we're going to saute a half a cup of onions. And some garlic somewhere. Here it is. About a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. It's whatever garlic you like. Just kind of saute those days together. Saute. 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 <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> Before we put our crushed tomatoes in. So let's just kind of stir these around in the olive oil. Get the great smells together. Oh, it's already starting. The aroma of onions and garlic, yum. I watched a friend of mine, um, her name is Janine, make this. She also does Florida halftime like we do, Jimmy. Um, I wish we did more than halftime. Um, she was making this for her husband, kind of like shrimp marinara sauce. So I thought, my husband probably would like this. Absolutely. <laughs> I would like this. <laughs> So, kind of going by her recipe, her mom's recipe, kind of, if you will. 
So you just kind of marry it together with other recipes. You know, I looked up other homemade marinara sauces, and this is how they did it. It's a little bit different than the tomatoes, I think, are a little bit different. She used, like, hoe tomatoes and squashed them. I bought the crushed tomatoes. <laughs> Skipped a step, didn't we? Yes. Either way, tomatoes or tomatoes, it doesn't matter. As long as you squash them. As long as they're crushed, you know. So... About one or two minutes here, probably just to saute. You don't want to burn your garlic. Okay. So let's go ahead and add in the crushed tomatoes. As well, you know, just probably simmer for about 20, 15, 20 minutes. So the onions will get done too. You ready? Here we go. Ta da! <laughs> And sometimes I just put a little bit of water in my can. Just get all the loose mm -hmm. pieces out. Absolutely. Blah, 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 blah. It's definitely bubbling. Just kind of mix this together. All right. Now we're we'll start adding more ingredients. Bring this down just a tad. All right, it calls for a fourth teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, pre-measured. So let's we'll dump that. About a half a teaspoon of oregano, dry oregano. Starting to smell like a towel. Oh, it really is. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do a, a dash of sugar to kind of cut the acid a little bit. You can do about a half a tablespoon to tablespoons, whatever you desire. That's definitely moving. Mm -hmm. And she added a big tablespoon of tomato paste. So I'm just going to do it because I trust her. Heaping tablespoon. tablespoon. Heaping tablespoon. There you go. So, did I say that correctly? I think you did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is the beginning of our sauce. So we're going to let this simmer for about 15, 20 minutes until it goes, comes together. I'm excited to taste it and see what it needs or doesn't need. <laughs> And then while we're doing this, I think we still have about 14 minutes on the squash. Getting closer. In the oven. So we'll try that. And then we'll come back after I get this for about 15 minutes. That should be about then. So we'll see you in a second. Hey, everybody. We got the squash done. It's cooling down a little bit so I can handle it. So while we're doing that, we're going to fix the shrimp. Mm. Now, I also add it um, probably about a half a tablespoon a tablespoon of fresh parsley that we had growing. So I'm gonna add a bit later for toppings as well. So now I'm going to add in the shrimp. You want fingers? Oh yeah. <laughs> Just kind of lay them in there, let them start cooking. Maybe for about a couple of minutes. And then on each side, in there too. And then we'll turn it off and then we'll work on the squash. There you go. Yeah, yeah. So let's kind of put those in there. It's what's called shrimp marinara, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll take these for a couple minutes. Then we'll grab a squash and then we're going to see what happens. Okay? Be right back. Hey, look at this. Mm. They are beautiful. Baked for 38 minutes. You said between 35 to 40. I just went 38. <laughs> <laughs> went in the middle. So, and then we just turned the oven off while we finished cooking the shrimp. And it's done. So I've turned the heat off. So let's try one of these. I went ahead and started a little bit just so I've never done it before. I mean, it actually works. I just started peeling like that. Look at that. Yeah, it's amazing. It's it? amazing. I love it. So, 
You can get some on this plate. Oop. Okay, well, I guess it's going there. I can put a little bit over here on this plate. Yeah. <laughs> Might be squash, spaghetti squash. <laughs> <laughs> It may not be the right squash to do spaghetti squash, but we're going to try it anyway. We're just going to do a little bite. We'll just look at this one real fast. See, it does look like spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Aha. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to do a little bite just for the sake of it. All right. Let's get it just a little bit of sauce in the marinara with the shrimp on it. I'm a little nervous. Like I said, I've never done this before. I'm just going to put a little bit of Parmesan. Oh, we can't, gotta have Parmesan. Yeah, a little bit of Parmesan. And if you have mm -hmm, fresh mm -hmm. Parmesan, go for it. Maybe take a little bit of your parsley and yep. put Maybe that on there. And... A bit of my fresh parsley. Yeah. That my husband helped me grow. <laughs> or you grew it. <laughs> we grew it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, where's the fork? Let's try this. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our first attempt of squash. I'm just going to take a bite of that so I can just get a good flavor and taste of it. It's like angel hair pasta. That's really? Wow. I kid you not. I am shocked. These people weren't lying. A piece of shrimp with it. Mm-hmm. Mm, just a couple minutes on your shrimp. You don't want to overcook it. So good, so amazing, so glad I tried it. I've been trying new things Jim and I have, and sometimes I'm nervous about trying new stuff, but I want to give everybody encouragement to try new stuff. Right. You know, and it doesn't have to be perfect. It's okay. And if it's not perfect, just do it again until it is, until it tastes as good. I am just really impressed with this. I'm really excited about this. So thank you guys so much for being with us, um, trying out. Um, squash, spaghetti squash, and homemade marinara sauce from Janine's recipe. So we appreciate you guys. Um, as always, um, we want you to hit a like, notification button so you know when we're popping out some new videos. And also, what is it, Jimmy? Subscribe. Subscribe. Thank you, guys. Just have a blessed day. Bye-bye.